Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. Kind of a bit like Ron Seal in makeup. It does. I do what it says on the tin. I like Believable Brown Beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. Also, I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways at times. If that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, so today's video is kind of like a continuation of my last one. If you haven't watched that, hmm, I wonder if I can leave a link up here for you to have a look at it. Um, I did this look and it was all pink and somebody asked me to do one that was all brown and I was like, oh yeah, how can I not do that? Believable brown beauty. So that's what we're going to do today. First of all, let's get into skin. I'm using my favourite, like always. Um, I really, really do love this foundation. It's the Cover FX Power Play. And at the moment, I'm colour G110. So I'm just going to buff that on. Then on my chin, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in colour number nine, which is Chestnut, just because my chin is a bit darker and a bit warmer as well. So I'm just buffing this in and blending it into everything else. For concealer, I'm actually going to go back to Amanda. I've been using Cafe for a while, but I want this to be a little bit more makeup y than my normal looks, hence this amount of concealer. And I'm just going to buff this in. I want my under eyes to be quite bright today. Then I like to go back to my foundation brush and just use a stippling effect to blend the concealer into the foundation. I'm going to take a tiny bit and pop that on my eyelids too. And today I'm carrying it up towards my brow. I just want to uniform the tone of the skin in this area. Next we're going to go in for brows. I'm using my 24 hour brow setter brow gel from Benefit to first brush up Stravelina. And then my good eyebrow. I'm not sure if I've settled on the name Angelina yet. We shall see. Okay, um, for brows, I'm going to use my NYX brow pencil. I used to use this one a lot. I haven't used it for a while, so I can't even remember what it's called. But it's the micro brow pencil, and the colour I use is espresso. And I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. Then I'm taking Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm using this brush from Louise Young. It's uh, the LY19, and um, Louise is a makeup artist. She's really, really lovely, first and foremost. She's a makeup artist, and she has just curated this line of vegan brushes so if that is something that is of interest to you check out her website I'll leave a link below so you can have a look but they're like they're really good quality like luxury vegan brushes they're really nice so I'm just using this one to apply the paint pot colour then I'm going to use the same brush and pat uninterrupted on my lid over the paint pot Oh, that's nice. Then I'm going to take an LY14 and just make sure that I carry this colour high enough in my crease. I'm going to go back to the LY19 and then now I'm moving on to brown down, which is um, a brown colour from that. I'm just going to use it on my outer corner. And maybe carry it like a third of the way across my lid from the outside in. And I'm taking a really old 222 and just blending that across. And now switching to an LY38B just to define my crease a little bit more. And you'll notice I'm not like following my socket line down, I'm taking it kind of straight across just to create a bit more of a dramatic look and then extend that up into my brow. Then I'm taking a 224 and I'm just buffing these edges even more. And I have so much space here, so I have to really take my time and make sure that I don't like cut corners on this step because it can look really dodgy. I'm gonna go back to the LY19 again. And now I am using Ground Brown, which is another brown colour from MAC. It's one of the pro colours. Well, it was when I worked there. I don't know if it's still a pro colour now. They may have put it into the main line, but it's a really lovely, like, true brown. Not too red and not too grey. Then I'm going to go back to the 222 and go back into uninterrupted and just use that to blend these edges a bit more. 
So now moving on, I didn't think, well, I was trying not to use this palette again because, you know, variety and all that thing, but I do love this palette. So I'm gonna take the color Black Chocolate, which isn't a black. I'm trying to stick to only browns in this tutorial. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back um, with that last brush that I used, which was an LY17, and just go in really close to the lash line and make that darker. Then I'm gonna go back into Black Chocolate with the LY38E again and just pump it up a little bit more. I'm also gonna use that black chocolate color as a really soft liner as well. Hmm, I like this. Oh, but does it look too similar to my bronze nudes one? I've just realized the color is really, really, really close to another video that I've done recently, so I'm going to change it a little bit. Sorry to be annoying, but I don't want it to look exactly the same. So I'm going to change the uninterrupted colour after all of that that's on my lid anyway, and I'm going to use... Ooh! I'm glad. Soft matte brown or soft brown matte, I can't remember what it's called. I'll look on the website and just... Yeah, that is so much nicer. So just pretend I didn't use uninterrupted anywhere else but in my grease. And then we're going to use soft brown matte. I think it's called soft brown matte. Oh gosh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Much happier with this. This is just my brush that I use for the concealer and I'm just going to buff here and here because it's annoying me a little bit. It looks a bit patchy. Yeah, I prefer this. Oh, that's kind of a happy mistake. Okay, we're going to move on to mascara. I am using my usual combo, extended play first of all, and then I use my In Extreme Dimension in 3D Black Lash. This is the Giga Black, the darkest of the uh, extended play mascaras that MAC does. Step number one, and then step number two. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this is so nice. Um, just going to reinforce this soft brown, just in here. Then I might be a little bit extra today. I'm gonna to go back into black chocolate. And I'm gonna just run this through this part of my socket here. Yeah, it adds a bit more definition to the socket. I'm using my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in the color Deep. And I think this is my favorite brush from Louise, it is the LY49. And I'm just using that to push the powder into all my shiny places. You'll see that I left my cheeks, I didn't powder there on purpose. I like shine there, so I'm not going to de-shine. Next I'm moving on to blusher and I'm going to use a combination of Swiss chocolate and burnt pepper using the same brush from Louise. Just working that onto my cheekbone. Now I'm going to move on to lips and I think there's going to be a double lip in this video. So, firstly taking cork lip pencil, then I'm taking my lip stilo from Hourglass in nude number six. And you know the drill. Press and roll. Then I'm taking Costa Riche eye pencil just to reinforce the lip line a little bit. How weird is that? Because I didn't realize how dark my skin still is. This is like my go-to nude lip combination for my normal skin tone. But because I'm way browner than I think I am, my lip pencil didn't actually make it darker because my skin's darker. So hold that thought, I have to go and get a different lip pencil. What I really want is chestnut lip pencil, but I can't find it and Amanda's going to wake up any second. I can feel it. I've heard him as well. So I'm going to use Stubborn Brown instead. And just use that to slightly deepen the lip line so it gets a bit more definition. So this is the first lip. Very easy to wear. And now we're going to go for more drama. So I'm going to take this one off. Now I'm going to fill in my whole lip with Stubborn Brown eye pencil. 
Then I'm going to go back to this. I haven't used this for a while. This is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix, and the color I'm using is chocolate. Oh, yeah, that looks so nice. How nice is that? So pretty. And now I'm going to change the blush. Oh, yes. I'm going to add some of that because I'm using it to lift my cheekbones as well as add colour. Okay, so we could stop here. So maybe there's going to be three looks. This is the second one. And now for the gloss. <laughs> right, I'm going to take some clear lip gloss from MAC. This is not a lip brush as well. This is definitely a blending brush, but I don't have time to look for another one. So I just have to use what I've got to hand and use this for the gloss. <gasps> oh yes, look at that. I love, love the contrast of the super, super matte eye and this like high shine lip. Oh, I love this. I think I've got issues today because I want to do more things for the makeup. Right, I'm going to go back to this colour fix from Danessa. So I've taken a tiny bit, see this little dot here on my hand, but I'm just going to play with the eye a little bit and see. So I've got a tiny little blending brush. This is an LY13 from Louise Young again. And I'm just going to go in here and chocolate it up a tiny bit. Can you see the difference that makes? What a difference the colour fix makes. Okay, so equipment issues again, but I just put a tiny bit of that colour fix here and then I went over it with Saddle. It's Saddle eyeshadow I was using, not soft brown, and um, softened that there. So guys, there you have it. This is the final look for today. Um, toffee, chocolate, caramel inspired makeup thank you to whoever it was i can't remember your name somebody sent me a suggestion to do all browns and thanks because i really liked how this turned out i hope it was of some use to you guys um now onto the other stuff if you don't follow me on my instagram oh yeah i forgot to say that in the beginning hmm. i do live get ready with me on sunday mornings at 9 30 gmt so i'll leave my instagram handle for you here if you fancy seeing me doing makeup in real time or just if you like asking me some questions and hanging out, please feel free to come along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.